everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video it finally happened and i finally pulled out my halloween decor and got to decorating i actually love how my coffee bar and my dining room turned out so i'm excited to show you guys but i'm even more happy that it blends in perfectly into my existing fall decor so i don't necessarily feel like i have to completely redecorate i will be adding some halloween touches to my living room and my kitchen and filming a part two for you guys but overall I'm just really happy with the way it turned out I know Halloween is not for everyone and I totally understand and respect that it is a festivity I enjoy decorating for because it's not your usual decor and it really does challenge me creatively and I think that's what I enjoy the most I like to just decorate for Halloween in a way that like if I was a witch if I would decorate my little cottage that's kind of how I imagine it so really excited to show you guys the outcome as always I hope for those of you who do decorate for Halloween it brings you a little bit of inspiration if not for this year for next year but as always if you guys enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and get into decorating Okay friends, we are starting off by decorating my coffee bar shelf and the first thing I did is I went ahead and I hung this spider web towards the back just to fill up some of that white color of my walls and then I have mentioned this before but I personally prefer this like creepy cloth material rather than the cotton spider web that they sell like at any store during halloween just because i think that this looks a little bit more like spider webs and it's way less messier than the cotton spider web so anyways now i'm starting off by placing some of my bigger items you guys know i absolutely love the candelabra i have up there i got from joanne's last year and it absolutely inspired me last year and inspired me this year once again Again, I think it's the perfect creepy touch and then of course we have to add a skeleton I got these like book boxes from home goods a few years ago and then the little copper cauldron I thrifted a few years ago so again just starting off with my bigger pieces <laughs> Growing up, we didn't celebrate Halloween in my home. We celebrated Day of the Dead, which I do have a video coming up on that tradition. But now that I'm an adult, I truly enjoy decorating for Halloween because I just think it is so fun. It is such a creative challenge to figure out ways to incorporate those creepy touches into my day-to-day -day style. And again, I just enjoy the creative challenge that it poses for me. So I found that adding creepy touches like this little skeleton hand from like normal everyday decor items is just again just so fun and such a neat way to incorporate it without it necessarily being Halloween in your face. This skeleton I really wanted him to look like he was holding the candelabra but his little hand kept falling off but anyways yeah back to the decorating that's really my goal when I'm decorating for Halloween is to really just mix those creepy touches those creepy Halloween touches with my day-to-day -day style and I truly love how it came out. 
And because of that reason, since we are still in fall, I obviously still want to incorporate some fall touches. So I'm adding some of my fall decor that I use throughout my home. I like these baby breaths here, the little pumpkins, and really just the colors and the textures that I used in my living room and in my kitchen for fall. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I love that this space works perfectly with my existing fall decor. So so if I just want to decorate this space, it blends in perfectly, but if I want to add more Halloween touches to the rest of my home, it will be a very, very simple way of adding Halloween into my space. So yeah, I really love all the colors and how they work together and then just all those creepy touches. I think they're so fun, like these little skeletons in this coffee maker here and this cute little mug, which again is a functional piece, but it represents Halloween. So I think it's so cute. And now for my filler pieces, I love these lotus pods, I believe is what they're called for Halloween specifically. I personally think they're so creepy. I actually hate all the little holes in them, but I think that's why they work so perfectly for fall. I also love these like twine or like vine pumpkins. I got these from Hobby Lobby several years ago and I just continue to incorporate them into my fall and my halloween decor every single year and then also these little like twisty vines were from hobby lobby as well again several years ago i've just kept reusing them over and over again and then feathers for some reason just speak to me during halloween i think there's just something creepy about them but also they just add a lot of texture and i truly love how it finishes off the space and lastly i'm just gonna go ahead and add some finishing details you guys are seeing right now i'm adding some candles to this candelabra i kept them really short just for practical reasons because otherwise it just looks kind of silly and also I just wanted it to look like it's been burnt like this candelabra has been used several times and then also I'll add some little confetti spiders to the spider web behind everything and lastly to finish off I'll be adding some bats to the other side just to balance out that spider web and still learning all the ways to love but forget it just the same and only ourselves to blame Is it really worth 
knowing the answer to It is not what we demand There's no answer written in the sand I actually made these bats using my Cricut. Super simple and easy, but I know you can also purchase them from Amazon. I actually had a bunch from last year that I ended up throwing away after I took down my decor, but I figured I could use a few more, so I quickly pulled out my Cricut and made these. And then now, moving on to decorating the pegs of my shelf. As always, I'm just using some kitchen towels, an oven mitt holder something like that and some copper mugs to pull in some of that copper that I used up at top these napkins or kitchen towels are from Joann's last year and Joann's did such a good job last year and to be honest with you guys I didn't even check them out this year I actually did not buy anything new for halloween this year i'm repurposing everything that i already had so this is proof that once again as i always say you don't have to go out and buy new decor every single year if you find something you love and you want to add it to your collection go ahead and do that whatever makes you happy but you definitely don't have to this year as you guys know we are preparing for baby boys so a lot of our money is going to him so this year i really just did not want to spend anything extra on halloween decor and i was able to accomplish that so anyways as you guys saw those little um i don't know like elixir containers are from target's dollar spot several years ago and i just put some of my coffee syrups in them i do that every year and again it's just the perfect little creepy touch to an everyday item now for this corner, I just added my Magnolia book or cookbook to this corner and then I added this witch's hat just so it kind of looked like a witch came in and threw it there. And then to match that, I'm adding this cinnamon broom to this little area between our bedroom door and our back door. And then, I'm sorry you guys, my tummy is showing but nothing fits anymore so... I'm sorry, if I would have realized my tummy was showing, I would have covered it, but I didn't. Anyways, I'm adding just a couple of baths, just for an additional creepy touch, and then we'll move on to my dining room table. The darker the sky, the brighter the stars. So for my dining room table, I went ahead and left the runner I already had for fall. And then this bucket, this copper bucket is from Michaels. Inside I added the same florals I had out for fall, but the bucket was definitely a little bit too big for the two stems I had. So I was trying to figure out a way to fill it up a little bit more and make it a little bit more Halloween-y. So I added this skeleton hand with some of those like fillers that I was talking about. So some feathers, some of those twisted vines, the little vine pumpkin, and the lotus pod. Again, it still looks like decor. It still looks really good, but it has that creepy touch with the skeleton hand. And then, of course, you guys know I love setting up my table. I went with the same idea I went with for fall, which is just getting ready for some coffee. So I'll be adding a few touches here just that signify that we're gonna sit down and have some creepy coffee but i really do love how everything came out and there's one last final touch which you guys will see in just a bit and then i'll show you guys an overview Close. 
I totally forgot that I added these crow feet candle holders. I got these from Target and I think they're so cool and I just love adding candles during this festivity because I don't know it just adds such a spooky feeling so I'm just adding those here and then like I said the last and final touch was adding this like cemetery sign to this other wall i don't usually decorate but i figured why not i had the sign so i went ahead and i put it up and that is it for how i decorated my dining room and my coffee bar so let me show you guys a quick overview of how everything turned out together Alrighty friends, well that is everything for today's video. I hope this brought you guys some decor inspiration. Like I said, Halloween is just such a fun festivity to decorate for. It's a very creative festivity. So once again, if you enjoyed it, I hope it brought you guys some inspiration. If Halloween is not for you, I totally understand. I hope you still stick around for my following videos. Like I said, I am gonna film a pregnancy update, a nursery reveal, a few baby videos and then we are jumping into Christmas content also my day of the dead video as always but a lot of fun videos coming up I hope you guys enjoyed this one and until next time I hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye